Hi, everyone. We're the Book Cougars, two middle-aged women on the hunt for a good read. I'm Emily. And I'm Chris. It's a snow day in Connecticut. We're so excited. It is a snow day. We we had some good snow overnight, and I think the bulk of it's supposed to come today. The, the last I heard was anywhere from like 14 to 20 inches, so we'll yeah. see what they actually, uh, how close they come this time to being correct. I've been telling everyone we're getting two feet. I'm I'm dreaming big here, so but it's that pretty kind of just constant snow. It's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. There it's a little gusty at times, so I'm I'm excited. So in the spirit of a you know kind of school snow day, we thought we'd film a little show and tell video. Yeah. With Luann Rice's new book, The Shadow Box. It's a gorgeous book. Um Emily read it. I have not yet, but I plan on it. And Emily took off the jacket and had a big surprise. And so on episode 122, which is coming out on Tuesday, Emily mentions at one point, oh, maybe we can do a video. So here we are with our show and tell video. Ready for the big reveal? Big reveal. Look at this book. Look at that. so beautiful. Isn't that a great surprise? Yeah. You know, I have to admit, a lot of times I don't take the jacket off of the book. Mm -hmm. I, I took the jacket off because, well, this might be too much information, but I like to put lotion on my, you know, hands at night. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, I don't want to get the jacket all messed up with hand lotion. But then I took it off and I was like, well, I don't want to get this messed up with <laughs> hand lotion either. It's so beautiful. I know. Isn't it gorgeous? It's all... You know, the title is Shadow Box, and obviously this is a shadow box with really wonderful, you know, a lot of seaside things. Yeah, so, you know, I usually haven't been taking covers off anymore because I'm not going anywhere. In the past, I'd usually take the jacket off if I'm, you know, throwing the book in my backpack so it doesn't get all crinkled and ripped and everything. So I'm glad you discovered this one. And and usually it seems like it, these things are revealed by accident like that, you know, and then it spreads by word of mouth. So here we are telling you about a great new mystery and a really cool design. Yeah, super, super cool book. And just so you know, the artist, the, the main character in the book is an artist and she makes shadow boxes. That's what her form of art. And so that's where the idea uh, of this came and the idea for the title. It is a mystery thriller, um, a standalone novel, but it does have some of the same characters as, as in Luann's last book, which was called The Last Day, which I also highly recommend. You can see I've got my little <laughs> tabbies in here. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of a I, I feel like it's a little bit of a female empowerment book, even though one of the themes is about um, emotional and domestic abuse, um, but really women coming together to take control of their lives. It also brings a little bit of like the Kavanaugh hearings, not that there's anything um, like a hearing or anything like that in it, but just kind of that old boys network. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, we are going to have the opportunity to talk to Luann about this book, which I'm really excited about. And I'm curious because of, obviously, if it just came out that, you know, she was writing it, maybe, you know, some of that had an influence on her writing. I'll be curious to yeah. know. Interesting, yeah. right? Because like this summer, one of um, the creepy henchmen of the last administration was arrested on a yacht just off the Connecticut shoreline in a, in a town between where we live and Luann Rice lives. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. And her books do take place on the Connecticut shoreline, which is another thing that we share an affinity uh, for that. And if you are not following Luann on social media, highly recommend that you do. She posts pictures every day of beautiful Connecticut coastline so you can get your water fixed through totally <laughs> so we're fangirls for a, a variety of reasons right. I can't wait to talk with Luann in an upcoming episode right so get yourself a copy it's available now beautiful book treat yourself or ask your library to order a copy that's always good too and we hope you read it. And we're not exactly sure what episode Luann will be on, but um, stay tuned. It'll be sometime later in March, beginning of April. Cool. So it gives you time to, to read if you want to 
uh, send us questions ahead of time that we could ask her. That's always a fun thing to do. Yeah. And our email is bookcougars at gmail.com. Super simple. Or leave a comment down below. Yes, please. We love that. <laughs> well, right. if you're in the snow belt like we are right now, we hope you enjoy a snowy day. And if you're somewhere warm, good for you. We're not bitter. <laughs> not at all. We're snow creatures. That's right. We are. Yeah. But you know what? We like the variety, you know? So yay. Yeah. Yay you if yeah. you're in the warm weather. I am. I do have to say, if you're out there kayaking or swimming in the ocean or in a lake or something, I, I am a wee bit jealous or envious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a dream that I was I was actually um, talking to the author of Why We Swim, mm. Bonnie Sue, who wrote the book Why We Swim. It's a book of essays. I had a dream that I was talking to her and I was holding my paddleboard and I was overlooking this body of water. It must have been on the Pacific, which because she posts pictures of the Pacific all the time. She's a surfer. And she was trying to explain to me where I could go in with my paddleboard. And I said, there's a lot of sharks in the water. And she was like, oh, yeah, we, we just we surf with the sharks. And I'm like, I have an inflatable paddleboard. <laughs> And then I woke up. So I don't know what happened if I got in or not. Well, you know, who knows? That's great. <laughs> well, on that happy note, we're going to sign off, I think. Great. Yes. <laughs> happy reading, everybody. Bye. Bye.